Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. We are here with another cash flowing opportunity for y'all, folks. Popping in that chart there, 3909 Daisy Avenue. Cleveland, Ohio, 44109, man. I priced this bad boy at 129.9. And what you're going to get here is the best of both worlds, right? This is actually two houses on one lot, right? So it's kind of like getting a duplex, but it's much, much better, right? I talked to y'all about uh, duplex investing fairly frequently here on Holton Wise TV. And what I tell you guys all the time, right? What do I tell you? I tell you that a side-by-side -side duplex is better than an up-down duplex all the time. Why? Because there's more separation for the tenants. The house feels more like a house as opposed to an apartment. They have completely separate basements, separate laundry areas. The only negative to the side-by-side -side duplex, folks, is there's not as many of them in the area built as there are up-downs, right? Like if you look at the two-family buildings in the Cleveland market, like 98% of them, 95% of them, whatever it is, a lot of them, most of them, almost all of them are the up-downs, right? So it's very infrequent that you get to buy something that's a little better, right? A side-by-side, -side, which is going to feature higher rent per unit, number one. Number two, longer tenancy. Well, you know what is even more rare than a side-by-side -side duplex? Two completely separate and detached homes on the same lot. In the front house, is getting a ton of rent. The back house, not so much, right? Uh, the front house, we got that thing rented at market rent, ten fifty. All right, the back house should be rented at eight hundo. Uh, it's not, right? Uh, we took this over from a mom and pop seller, and uh, they were just legacy tenant. Uh, just rent it out for three hundred a month. Makes absolutely no sense why they would do that. Uh, but that's the thing with residential real estate investments folks not everybody is going to be a professional seller uh running things uh you know on a numbers basis spreadsheet basis the most efficient way possible right there's so many variables with uh the folks of why they were doing what they were doing right so i don't know why the previous seller allowed uh, previous owner allowed that tenant to rent that space for 300 but uh, once lease renewal comes up, which is very soon, should be going a month to month very soon, boom, going to have to obviously increase that way, way up. Don't know if we need to go to 800 immediately. You really don't want to have to cause a turnover and redo that unit, but you can't, you can't leave a body in there for 300 That makes no sense. So I'd probably kick it up to like seven. Uh, and then, you know, hopefully they stay so we don't got to turn it over and then go to eight the following year, right? So you should be able to get 1850 And what's cool with that 1850 right, that is two completely separate spaces, man. I can't stress that enough, right? You don't have tenants arguing with each other about noise, banging the freaking broom into the ceiling, stopping on the floor, doing laundry in a shared space, right? Dealing with all that stuff that comes about, right? So this is going to be a very, very nice investment. And as far as the location, it's right over there on Daisy Avenue, man. I cannot stress enough how much I love that particular neighborhood, right? This particular neighborhood, right? It's being open, honest, transparent with you. That's what I do, folks, right? If you ever uh, doing your research on the Cleveland market, you want to check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. Of course, I've linked it below this video. You can check it out on the Tools of Resource tab at HoldenWise.com. You can Google it. Freaking hundreds of thousands of people have probably read that thing at this point, right? It's been published in articles, uh, some pretty crazy woke uh, slander-type articles uh, accusing it of being a racist document, which is totally ridiculous, but that is a topic for discussion for another day. You know how all those wokies are out there. They're trying to call you a bigot for uh, everything, right? These are people like your scene magazines and reporters like Brenton Mock and, uh, you know, just fictionalized liberal nonsense. But that, I'm, t I'm getting off topic. The moral of the story is the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods uh, gives investors like you watching the show, people uh, looking to invest in Cleveland real estate for the first time, understanding this market. It gives you a barometer to check out what particular neighborhoods got going on, right? It allows you to assess your risk, right? Certain neighborhoods, you can buy duplexes uh, for like 60K, 
but other neighborhoods they're going to cost 150 other neighborhoods will cost 350 why is that right i need to be able to quantify that to you guys so you guys can understand what exactly you're getting when you spend your money and through that guide you'll see that i've graded this particular neighborhood uh, high d low c okay and as you see through that guide and in the Cleveland market, there's no shortage of, like, your D.C. neighborhoods in the Cleveland area, right? These are neighborhoods where it's good to go Section 8, right? Because you do have some riffraff. It's a little bit risky uh, at times. You're dealing with lower-income tenants. But, but. That's usually where the cash flow is. And if you're going to invest in this market and you want these lower income cash flow neighborhoods, Cleveland is very popular nationwide because of all of the uh, housing stock and inventory that's available in these types of low income neighborhoods. Right. So there is no shortage of D and C neighborhoods in Cleveland is the main point I'm trying to illustrate for you. But to go one step further, the best, most profitable most uh, have your cake and eat it too kind of D.C. neighborhood in the Cleveland market is the Clark Fulton neighborhood, which is exactly where this property is on Daisy Avenue. If you're going to invest in a D.C. neighborhood in the Cleveland market, folks, I've been saying this on hundreds of episodes of the MLS Search and Analysis, I think the Clark Fulton neighborhood is the very best one to do it. Why? Because you get the relative cash flow, right? the great price to rent ratios that you get in all the other C and D neighborhoods. But this particular neighborhood is just south of a lot of the gentrified areas, right? Your Tremont, Ohio City, Gordon Square, downtown, Lake Erie, all that jazz up north. And it is literally steps away from Metro Health, okay? Metro Health has committed a billion dollars of investment capital to this particular neighborhood, and their campus and the regional transit authority is also committing 60 million right so that's 1 billion plus another 60 million what is that like 1.006 i don't even know how to say that number but it's a lot so folks think about it this way if you're investing in a neighborhood for cash flow that's great then you got other people who invest in neighborhoods for appreciation well, how about you have your cake, eat it too. Get cash flow now and potential for appreciation later. If you're going anywhere in the Cleveland market and you're hoping to get some appreciation down the road, I think the best bet, the safest bet, would be the neighborhood that's getting over a billy pumped into it, especially when it's boarding other gentrified neighborhoods, right? So that's why I really love this neighborhood and the fact that you get something incredibly rare here. You get two completely separate and detached homes on the same lot very rare almost never do you get that uh last but not least before i let you go i give you guys the good the bad the pros the cons that's what i do um open honest transparent that's how we do business if you like it cool buy it if you don't all right cool don't that's cool but we got the information you need to know this particular property is not lead certified okay it's in 44109 lead certifications are not due till the end of 2022 a lot of people won't tell you about the lead certification because a lot of people either don't know uh or not ready to like put that into words for you i don't know what's going on in regards to what other realtors are doing but what i'm seeing is a lot of realtors almost all of them probably like 99 percent of them selling cleveland properties with no mention about the lead certifications, about 80,000 rental units. Last time I checked the numbers, we're not lead certified, even though they should be lead certified. These laws are brand new. They're here to stay, and you all need to understand those. And that is what we do here at Holton Wise before we sell you properties. We give you all the info you need to know. We let you know what it's like to be a Cleveland real estate investor. So for info on the Cleveland lead paint certification process. This property will need to go through later in this year. Uh, I've linked a video below which explains to you the lead certification process, but I do not think it will be too expensive. The main thing you need to look for is old wood windows and old wood siding, but this one has aluminum siding, which is where a large majority of your costs would be. So I think getting you through the lead certification process down the road on this one should not be hard. And of course, folks, Holton Wise will do all of that dirty work for you. We do everything. Property management, maintenance, construction, tenant screening, leasing, evictions, insurance, insurance on properties all throughout Ohio. That's what we do, folks, the complete turnkey solution. So... If you don't like what I just said and don't dig this property, like, don't buy it, right? But if you do and you're still this far into the video, I'm assuming you're pretty interested, what you got to do, send an email to my team, sales at holdenwise.com, include two things, the amount of money you want to pay for the property and your pre-approval letter if you're trying to finance it or 
that would need to be a proof of funds uh, letter or screenshot from your bank account if you're trying to pay cash. If you got any questions, include them in that email. And lastly, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, maybe you don't feel this property, but you like the, the package, the service, what we can do for you here at Holton Wise, and you want to learn more and see how you can work with me personally, not just make bids on properties that uh, thousands of other people are going to get the opportunity uh, to, to present bids to us on, get, get like, you know, a little one-on-one, -on -one, little, little, little me and you, right, getting together, going over your plan and, like, catering the types of properties to you, to what you want to do, uh, you can click the link below this video and book a free call, and my team will talk you through that process as well. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.